Hello there, I'm Nemo and welcome to this very special video. Today I would like to do a little wrap up of 2022, uh, talk to you about my projects for 2023 and yeah, so prepare yourself your favorite warm drink, find a cozy place to sit and let's chat. Before I start with the wrap up, I just want to say that I would like to start the new year with a Q&A. So if you have any question for me, please leave it down here in the comments. I will read it and I might use it for the Q&A. Thank you. So 2022, it's been quite a year. Huh? A lot of good things and a lot of bad things happened in 2022 for me and all of those things combined they definitely had a role in how much i have been producing for the channel which is not a lot itself because i only produced two videos um so what are those bad and good things of course i cannot talk about every bad thing that happened to me and every good thing but i'll try to go to the essential parts and yeah so at least you know what happened. So regarding the bad things, well, winter 2021 to 2022 has been very hard here in Germany. Um, mentally speaking, uh, everything is very gray. The weather is not good. It's not like I have the sea or the mountains here, you know, to go and walk, have a walk and feel better. Um, so yeah, mentally speaking, it was very tough. Then in that period, I produced two videos I'm very proud about. Um, I made the, the whale video and then I made the, um, the AI, the omen video. And both of those, they, they set the bar very high for me in terms of production. And I felt way less creative and way less um, inspired in the coming weeks and months and I felt like I, I didn't have enough time and energy to produce something that was as good as that. But I didn't want to produce something that was lower in terms of quality than those two videos. So I ended up doing nothing. I felt very stuck for a long time. And those were, well, this was not the only f weird feeling that I felt inside that um, that was an obstacle to my creativity. You might know that I am a PhD student, so I have my PhD project and this year has been quite productive. I decided to give priority to my PhD and to put YouTube on the side, which has always been the case. But this year I wanted to really focus on my PhD project. And I gotta say that, you know, I got some good results, very promising results. So that was a good move, it's just that if I wanted to focus more on my PhD, the only big thing that I was doing on the side that you know I would have to sacrifice a bit for that was the YouTube channel. So that is another reason. I started feeling a bit better in spring and when I did, I wanted to use my energy for socializing, having a social life, that's important and also doing some sport. So now I'm going quite regularly bouldering and I really, really like that. And I feel better in my mind and in my body. And yeah, so I try to go twice a week. It's not always happening, but you know, it is not super close to my home. So going back and forth, staying there a couple of hours, it is reducing the amount of time I have over the week to uh, produce YouTube content. But I'm very happy about all of that and I just have to find the right balance between all of those things. PhD, social life, sport, sleeping and YouTube. There has been at least one big good thing that uh, didn't allow me to produce as much as I wanted in 2022 and that is my TEDx talk. Now, as this video is out, I already had my TED talk, but this video recording is probably not out yet. If you want to know more about 
my experience before the TED Talk, right after the TED Talk, on my second channel. I have a couple of vlogs where I explain all of that, so you might want to check it out. In general, that was a very beautiful and crazy cool experience for me. But what I have to say is that I didn't have a lot of creativity and, you know, inspiration this year. Starting in spring, I started like, hmm, no, maybe I have a little bit more creativity and inspiration. But I got selected to go give this TED talk in Frankfurt in March or something like that. And so every, every bit of inspiration and creativity I got, I channeled it into my TED talk. And that is why I, since then, I just didn't find either time, energy, inspiration, creativity to do anything else beyond my TED talk. And I'm very proud of my TED talk. I'm very proud I got to do, uh, to do it. I think if you watch it when it comes out, you'll notice how much of the YouTube channel is in my TEDx talk. So in a certain way, I think I didn't produce on YouTube, but I still spent months preparing that talk. And it's not directly connected to YouTube, but it is still a form of science communication, which is what I do here. So yeah, I hope I get the opportunity to, um, to do a little breakdown or a, a react video where I show you the video and I explain to you um, what, I, what I'm talking about, why I'm saying it this way, explaining some jokes if people didn't understand jokes. And, uh, and yeah, so I, I try to do a little breakdown of the channel whenever I can, but that was exciting. And I just spent all of my creativity there this year. For YouTube itself, I also spent some time making some bloopers. In particular, I think for the whale video from last year, I was supposed to do um, a behind the scenes and also just a classic blooper video. And those two videos are quite long and I've uploaded them maybe in November or something like that. Those videos are accessible to my patrons. And yeah, so I made them, they are there. You probably, most of you didn't see them because you are not a patron, but I made some content. It's just not accessible to everybody. And talking about Patreon, well, if you're not a patron yet, which is fine, you don't have to. But if you would like to contribute to uh, this big adventure of mine on YouTube and beyond, well, consider becoming a patron. For just one buck a month, you can help me accomplish my dream and make this place a better place. I don't know, do I make content that makes the world a better place? Hmm. Well, you'll make me happy, that's for sure. You get access to bloopers, behind the scenes. You also get super cool roles on Discord. Talking about Discord, you should come to our Discord server, please. I also couldn't stand the idea of not making any form of content. So I actually did a few vlogs on the second channel. Now the second channel is not called Dr. Nimor anymore. It's called Nemo Jones. Why? Um, well, I might explain it one day why it's called Nemo Jones. But the idea is that I wanted to split the two things. And here I talk about science and curiosity and all that stuff. And the other channel is a more personal channel. And it's not like the bonus channel. You understand what I mean? It's like my channel where I talk about anything I want. It doesn't have to be something that is related to the first channel, but that doesn't belong on the first channel. It is just its own thing. So I made a few vlogs over there. I'm, I'm happy about them and I'm gonna try to do them more often, maybe once a week or something like that. Just, you know, talking about things I like and who knows, maybe among those vlogs, people will say, oh, I really like when you talk about, I don't know, Magic the Gathering, or when you talk about movies, please do more vlogs about those things. And I might start talking about those things. I don't know. It's just going to be a little space between you and me where, you know, I, I talk about things I like, about my life, about things that don't go well. And 
yeah, I did a few logs, plan to do more. I think that's it for 2022. I'm very glad a lot of people are still sticking around. And I was very afraid that by not creating a lot of content, people would just like boop, disappear, that the subscribers number would just go and, and die. But people are still here. That's good. Thank you for waiting for me. <laughs> so I appreciate your presence. I appreciate your support. And this year has been special, good, and in a bad way too. And let's talk about 2023. Hope. So another thing I have been doing this year that you haven't seen yet is that I've been working on two videos. One, both of them are actually linked to have something to do with my TED talk. And that's why both of them are essentially ready. But I want to wait for the video recordings to be uploaded, the recordings of the TED talk to release those videos. One is a remastered version of a song that I sing during the TED talk. And without context, you're not gonna understand it. So you have to watch the TED talk first and then you can watch uh, my video, which is a song video. The other one is a collaboration that I made with someone that I met at the TEDx Frankfurt event, another performer. I also think that it would be better for that video to be released after the video recordings are, uh, are released. And that is a very special format. It's 45 minutes long and it's a mix of music, just a bit of science and history in it. And most of the video is just me and this person sitting down and talking about creativity and what it means to be an artist and all of that stuff. So I hope you liked it. It's a, it's a special format. I don't think I'm gonna do that very often on the channel, but you know, I had a guest who came from another city and I just wanted to spend as much time with this person talking about cool things. So yeah, you let me know if you like it, but just heads up, I don't think I'm gonna do that very often. So yeah, I, I, I made two videos, but they will be released next year. I have a new idea for a format. I already started writing the scripts. I think I have six ideas for videos um, in this format. And the format is called biofilm. So the idea is for me to combine two things that I really, 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 really like in life. One is biology, but also movies and cinema. And one thing I really like in movies, well, is creatures and monsters. So the idea is to talk about the monsters and creatures in movies and draw parallels with organisms that exist on our planet. I would like to talk about the xenomorph in Alien or the Predator or the monsters in A Quiet Place. So it is a good excuse for me to talk about movies and talk about biology and I hope you like the format. I have a lot of ideas and I'm quite excited about it. I made nine episodes of Quack. I really liked the format at the time and I think I would like to do a 10th episode, but I'm not sure if there will be more Quack after that. If there will be more Quack after that, I think I, will, I would like to change the format. So one thing I don't like about Quark is that I have to be very quick about answering certain questions. And I think most of those questions I could do like a 10, 15 minute video about them and make it very interesting. So I'm kind of like wasting this potential of making longer content just because I have this predefined limitation that I impose myself of answer that question in less than two minutes. So I don't really like it. I would like to finish this season, like make it a 10 episode season. And after that, change that. And I don't know if I just want to stop making quack or maybe if I should adapt to this new trend of making shorts and if I should start creating, you know, shorter content, shorter vertical content. This way I could make content for Instagram and TikTok and YouTube. And I gotta say, I'm a bit reluctant 
I'm, I'm not very happy with the idea of having to uh, adapt and, and change format things that I like to do in a certain way and having to do it in another way now, but it's also not very smart to not use those new ways of communicating and also to put all of my, how do you say this? all of the content I create on only one platform. And now everything is on YouTube. And if tomorrow something happens to YouTube, I'm dead <laughs> and I cannot allow that. So I think I think that is an option. I'm not sure how much I will do that, but I think I should. I think I should make shorter content, maybe take the single questions of Quack and make them vertical and short episodes uh, that will be uploaded all around the internet. Talking about this concept of season, I, I, I tried a lot of formats on the channel. I tried to talk about a lot of different things and I started, I make one, two videos about, I don't know, microcosmic, three or four videos about cephalopods in Krakenology. And then I moved to something else. I did in situ experiencia. And I think that I, I, I'm doing too many things. And I would like to maybe focus on doing one, two or three videos on, on the same field, like doing microcosmic. And microcosmic sh should be a thing I, sh I should do. I have like cool equipment and I can definitely do very cool videos about that. It's just that, you know, I started with something, some simple ideas and then I was excited and I started like making videos about many other things. I should probably come back to those, you know, to the basics. Let's talk about cephalopods. Let's talk about marine biology. Let's talk about uh, microscopic organisms. And let's try to do one, two, three, four videos in a row, which are only about those, then move on. So this way I can kind of, you know, have a series of playlists on my YouTube channel that work a bit like, you know, classes. Right? You go, oh, I want to go today to marine biology classes, uh, class, and then you click on one of the videos on that playlist, right? But right now it feels like I tried many different things, but I have only one or two episodes for each playlist and I'm that is bothering me a lot in my brain. So I'm going to try to make more videos for all those formats where I haven't done much yet. So that is something I would like to do. I'm not going to tell you every idea I have for every format. I do have a lot of ideas. I have a long list of things I would like to do, but this might be a way of being more productive. I write one, two or three videos on the same subject in a row and then I just script and then I, I, I record those videos and I edit them and then they are ready together. Just like a trilogy, just like Jim Cameron you know, uh, filming Avatar 2 and 3 at the same time. Yeah, that's that's the idea. So I plan to do a lot of videos this year. I have a lot of cool ideas and I will be more productive. And it's not like I really have a choice at this point because I think my PhD is doing pretty well. And I would like this to be my job one day, science communication in general. But for this to become my job, I really, really have to be more productive. So I'm not promising how much I will create on the channel, but I really would like to at least be able to come up with two or three videos every two months, something like that. So a video every three or four weeks, at least, I think that is feasible. We'll see how it goes, but that is the idea. Now, something I didn't tell you, if you have seen one of my vlog about the TED talk, you might know this, but I also really would like to do something in person. Frankfurt is very cosmopolitan. Everybody speaks English here. And I like the idea of having one long script for a live show that is mostly based on my TED talk and do what I do here, you know, combining humor and science and music and animation and do all of that in a live performance. And I'm not sure if there is a lot of people doing that. I don't think so. Do you know any stand-up comedian who is a scientist and who talks about science? Because I do not know, but if you do, uh, just let me know. I would like to check out what the people do or to understand if it is a niche that you know hasn't been 
field yet. And I like the idea of doing that. I, I like being in front of the camera, but being on a live stage and being able to talk about science and make people laugh, all of that, I I found it like very, very cool. So if one day I can make YouTube my job, plus being able to do some live performances, that would be incredible. So I also plan in 2023 to have this script written and try to do some live performances, probably around here in Frankfurt. Otherwise, maybe if things go well, I can, you know, travel to um, English speaking places and do that. Yeah. So yeah, that, that is it, I think. I do have a lot of projects. I hope you'll stick around um, and I wish you a very beautiful 2023 for you, for your family, for your friends, for your pets. And I'll see you very soon, I think. Don't forget about the Q&A. Write me any question down here. And I think I'll see you very soon. Thank you for listening. Bye.